Tonight, a father is dead, a mother in the hospital, and the search for the person or persons behind a home invasion is underway. Yeah, police say the scene played out in front of their five children inside their home on the north side of Columbus just before midnight. NBC4 Sierra Johnson spent time in the neighborhood and spoke with a, a childhood friend. Sierra, what's the latest there? Yes, I can tell you Columbus police have learned the identify the identity rather of that 28 year old man killed in that fatal home invasion. His name is Brandon Gilliam. The woman killed her identity has not been released. I did have a chance to speak with Brandon Gilliam's childhood friend from Nevada who says the violence needs to stop. He's a father. You took a father, a provider away from his children and and, and it hurts. Clarence Williams says he's heartbroken. He was that beacon, you know, he was that beacon for, for everybody. Williams' childhood friend, 28-year-old Brandon Gilliam, is the latest victim of gun violence in the capital city. According to police, crews were called out to the north side cul-de-sac of Laurelwood a little before midnight. It was inside. Gilliam was pronounced dead. Another adult was also injured in the shooting, a 28-year-old woman who was transported in critical condition. Investigators tell us the pair's five children witnessed everything, with some even helping their mother to die 911. How many more fathers are going to have to go? How many more mothers are going to have to go before we wake up and realize that we are killing ourselves, we are hurting ourselves? As police continue to search for the person or persons responsible for this fatal home invasion, Clarence Williams, who met his friend decades ago playing Little League football, has this to say. It's not worth it. Like if y'all watching this, it's not worth it. Don't be consumed by hate. And this death is the city's 56th homicide of the year. I can tell you we did some digging. We are now 15 up when it comes to homicides compared to this time last year. We're live in front of the Columbus Police Headquarters, Sierra Johnson, NBC4.